We got some goodies here to play with. What am I gonna do with them? Yeah, it's gonna be an unboxing party here. Computers, gaming, retro gear, devices, tech reviews, and more. Keeping off with Android. We've got a couple of USB cables. These are going to be for my pies in the server rack. I won a contest on the Diabetic Geeks channel, and in here is a Sabrant, I uh, believe it's a USB power Logitech C920. Getting rid of my Microsoft because it's a horrible piece of junk. PC remote for the TV here in the living room. Ooh, Western Digital Black Hard Drive. I'll explain this one when we get to it. Audio cables for podcast recording, and a new mixer upgrade. This one has effects in it. It is the UB100 1002 FX. Same one that I got now, but this one has effects it built into it. Here's the box. Very pretty. Information on the back. We don't care about that, do we? We just want to get inside this bad boy. Uh, there. That's how you unbox things properly. I don't like the way this box opens, I tell you what. Okay, this is just plain stupid. I hate dumb packing. Jeez, this is ridiculous. Even has a tripod mount on it. That's kind of cool. Ooh, nice. Gonna like this. Can't wait to get that one set up here in a bit. There she is. Next, the PC remote. That's all it says, PC remote controller. Nothing special. Oh, that one was much easier than the last. All done. Got to pull out for the sensor, which is kind of neat. And we've got a, it's supposed to be the mouse. It's gonna be interesting, weird to control. Now, for the Jason Go Yet Get. Let's crack that open. There's that, there's two. And there's our two cables. Slice into this bad boy. Jason, I have to say, interesting pack job here. A lot of space. <laughs> it's the Brandt. 60 watt, six port USB charger. This is gonna run my Raspberry Pis in my server rack. Pretty cool, huh? Because right now there's power adapters in the server rack, but they're a little awkward and plug in weirdly. And here's the device, power on the back, and our six ports up here. And a power. Yeah, this will plug nicely into the power rack. Perfect, the kind of plug I like, better than those black boxes that I'm using for the Raspberry Pis at the moment. This is gonna work perfectly. Okay, let's get into this. Ah, another easy one. And another audio cable here. This goes from stereo to two monos. All right, it's mixer time. Oh, yes. I believe this is the power brick. Yep. Instruction and information. And the mixer. It looks just like my other one. Now the only difference between this one and my old one is it has built-in effects right here. We got here a Western Digital Black. Three terabyte hard drive to upgrade my video editing. Because right now I'm video editing my 4K on a Western Digital Green, and it's a little slow, if you know what I mean. So, this is my favorite part of opening a hard drive. Ooh, I like the way she shines. Dust free. Last but not least is my Metro Data Vac. And what this is, is a computer vacuum and blower. <clears throat> oh wow. Especially made for cleaning electronics and computers. Got a big brush, got a very interesting nozzle. Bunch of nozzles and a small brush in here. Hey, it includes a vacuum bag, nice. And here she is. Cute little bugger. I have a short hose. And you can put it on either end. One's for sucking and one's for blowing. Yeah, that's what she said. It's like it opens here. That's how you get to, oh, it already has a bag inside too. Huh, double win. 
So I'm excited to try this out, get my, my PCs cleaned up, and uh, oh yeah, I heard uh, from the reviews that one of the guys said this thing sucks and blows better than his wife, so hope he's right. Okay, I think it's time to swap out this mixer. Okay, let's bring in the new one. There it is, all installed. We got our effects choices. Choose by number. Cool. This kind of tells you right here which one's which. Um, zero through 39 is reverb. 40 through 59, delay, pitch, and mod. Wow, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. And this is how you the amount you want, and this selects which effect you want. As a Linux geek, see a problem? I do. Your, your time has come, buddy. Now it's time for an upgrade. I'd like to be able to get it in here. I would like to be able to get it right in there. Can I do it? I think she's gonna work in there. Let's go ahead and test it out and see what she does. Okay, the next mission now is to put the new Sobrant in here. Uh, problem is I gotta shut down my Raspberry Pis. They've been running non-stop since I put them in there. This will be the first time they've been shut down in what? Five months or so? You see back there, I have the Raspberry Pis on those stupid brick things plugged into a long extension cable. Yeah, this will free up some wiring. Okay, I got them in there. I even coordinated the, gr the blue and the red cables with the exact same thing their uh, NIC cables are. Which is kind of neat. So they're up and running, I got her over there, and I still have room for some more, which is really cool. What I might do is run two more at the end here, come out the back and have a power adapter for my wife's phone and one for mine. So it is 60 watts, so it should be able to handle everything. And the pies are going good. Got them up and running. Now for the next task. And here's the power setup I had going on before yeah, see that was inside there for their two pies. Not very efficient, so thank you, Jason. You really helped free some room in my rack, and it's going to work much better. Oh, yeah. Before I install that hard drive and replace it for that one, uh, I've seriously got to do some dusting in here and clean this out and test out my new electronic vacuum blower. Because look at this. That grill looking real nasty just checked out the uh, fans on the GPU they're actually okay so yeah this is gonna be a fun little project let's get this baby nice and cleaned up well it did all right I mean it is clean and it isn't like you know brand new clean but it is clean um, one thing I did is I noticed that the bottom fans were actually really good I'm really surprised at the um, power supply fan is really really clean for a year and a half of not being dusted out But got most of it out of there. I used the vacuum portion of the vacuum of course to clean the grill on this the, the Fans I used this little blower tip here and blew it into all the nooks and crannies and anywhere else That was a small small area like on the cards on the nick there and inside of here so it did a good job. Now our next task is this is the drive we are replacing here. This drive is going to be imaged and be put into the server in here. And what's cool about my case is it has a hot swappable drive here in the um, in the front. So we just and there we go. Now we just gotta image the sucker. Get the old data from that one to that one. I was confused which hard drive was what, so I needed this number here so I don't accidentally overwrite the wrong one for the source disk. But while I'm doing that, I'm also downloading Ubuntu Mate uh, 1510. We're going to install it here on this one. This one has GNOME on it, but GNOME, Ubuntu GNOME is way too slow for this little thing. It's just too sluggish. Eh. And same thing with my wife's laptop. We're going to do the same thing to it change it from the GNOME version to Mate version. So right now I'm backing up her her home folder. So that way we'll have all of her files and configs. 
And that one I don't have to do anything but copy the uh, Firefox and Thunderbird profiles. Okay, for this task, we are going to do a clonezilla. We're going to do English, of course. Uh, don't touch key mapping. Um, start clonezilla. We're going to do device to device directly. Beginner mode. Disk to local disk. And then it's going to do its thing. And here's where we get to figure out which one's the right disk here. You can see this one, this sequence of numbers, and this last sequence of numbers matches what I wrote down here. So this will be our source disk. Now we're choosing our target, which I do know it's three gigabytes. Same size as the old one. That's our new one. I'm just going to verify the last sequence numbers. So that's our target disk. And then we'll just skip that. It's going to ask me to press enter to continue. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do this. Warning, all data on that partition will be overwritten. Of course, there is should be no data on there. And here we go. Now we wait. Looks like this one's done backing up, so we can go ahead and start installing Mate on here. Today ended very, very, very sadly and very, very badly. Why, you might ask? Well, I got the drive imaged, and it had an error when it was imaging it. froze up, and so I said, okay, I'll try it again. Tried it again. Okay, failed again. Went to go format it in Linux, and check this out. 1,351 bad sectors. This is where it was about an hour ago. I tried reformatting again just to see what would happen, and it's going up. So, dang it. I'm turning it and have to get a new one. Well, besides the hard drive, it was an almost successful day. I did get this little laptop done. Got a little purple theme on there for her, because she likes purple. Um, didn't get to do, I wanted to do a reinstall and remove Arch Linux from my file server in the rack. But unfortunately didn't have time to do it, so I'll have to do it tomorrow after work. Because right now it's running Arch and, eh, I don't like it for a server operating system and I want to go back. It used to have CentOS on it and I want to go back to it. My wife's laptop is also all ready to go and I got it themed for her. All Hello Kitty themed up. So, yeah. Okay, we are now getting our CentOS 6 installed on here. The reason why I went with version 6 is because it still has the older GNOME in it, and I prefer that over GNOME 3. So this is good until, I think, uh, 2020 for support-wise. Once this gets done, I can restore the files that were on it and get all the services running. Got her all back up to where she was, back on, you know, her old days. So she's running the uh, Minecraft server right now, the server for vloggers. Got all the files back and moved over to it. Running really great, a lot better than I was expecting. Um, we got the new hard drive. This one has zero bad clusters. It is perfect the way it should be. And right now is having fun copying the files back on it. And then the one that I took out, the three terabyte, this is gonna go into this server here add more storage space to this server. So, I'm gonna do that. Well, as you can see here, I got the hard drive installed into the server. It's just really neat, added, uh, well, three terabytes to it. I didn't delete any of the files, I decided to keep them, you know, it's good to have backup because the server's not lacking space right now, but if I ever do, I'll delete the junk I don't need anymore because it's just mostly raw video footage that are, you know, on that hard drive. In other news, I have been learning Blender. Yes, I am going to try to make myself a new intro in 4K with 3D. Um, the old intro is about three years old and is in 720p, so it's a little outdated and doesn't really look that good in a 4K video, so of course I need to update that sucker for the times. Eh, you know, and it's time for a change. Um, as you can see here, here's a quick little clip of what I've got done so far. Still have a lot of work to do. And when I get her done, you should be able to see her in the new year. And speaking of the new year, that's almost upon us. As some of you have, may have noticed, the Japan vlogs have been what's been featured on the channel for the past year. The Japan vlogs are now done, and we are able to now move forward with all geeking off content. 
Um, there is still two Japanese vlogs left. One is kind of like a fly home review kind of vlog and a picture slideshow for the next one after that one. That's it. No more Japan vlogs. And of course, as I mentioned before, I'm bored of making just regular daily vlogs, so those won't be happening anymore. It will be pretty much geeking off moving forward from here on out with podcasts, with episodes, and playing with Linux because I am so obsessed. And I would like to thank everybody for liking and sharing my geeking off videos. And to the ones that also have helped me learn more, because I'm still a noob. And some of you have helped me get better at what I'm doing in the comment section. So if you see me screw up really bad, feel free to leave a comment and give me some tips, because I would also like to become more fluent in Linux. Is that the right word to use? Man, yeah, I'm going to use it. And that wraps up this Geeking Off episode. So look forward to next year when we got some great content coming towards your way. And remember to check out anthrit.com to see what is coming up in the videos in the future. Kind of got January a little planned out. There are still some 1080p videos of me working with an old laptop. So look forward to that. And it's going to be in multiple parts because I got some old laptops to kind of get up and running and get some Linux on there. So I'd like to wish everyone a happy holidays and a happy new year. This is Anthony from Anthware. And from this time and every time on, folks... Keep on clicking. This is Anthony from Anthware, signing off.